What is going on my fellow jewelers? So in this video today, I'm teaching you how to make a resin pendant. Ooh, not just any resin pendant, but one with foil in it. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to teach you this technique. You want to see? Oh, look at this thing. Oh my goodness. And I love how it's on the sides. Look at that. Nothing on the back, really plain on the back, but the front and the sides are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. People are like, where'd you get that? How do you do that? Can I buy it from you if you made it? Oh my goodness. People love this design. And I'm obsessed with it. I'm also obsessed with resin making. So I was super excited when MBeads contacted me and said, hey, we'll give you some free product if you do three videos for us. And I'm like, heck yes, because I want some more resin product. I want some molds. I want some foil. I want all the good stuff. And so I ordered $35 worth of product, including the shipping. And I did an unboxing video. You have to check that video out. It'll show you everything I got. And so this video is is from NBeads. Thanks NBeads for sponsoring this with some free product. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So before we get started making these beautiful resin pendants, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell get notifications because I'm all about the how to's of jewelry making, especially some resin these days. So you and me, let's get started. Okay, let's get started making these cute resin pendants. I'm so, so excited. I got my newspaper down and for you guys to see it better, I actually got computer paper down over my newspaper. I have gloves on because these are pouring because we're using chemicals. Get your gloves on. Um, I'm also using this resin. I'm pretty excited. I got these for Christmas. I asked for resin for Christmas because I'm that nerdy. And so I have my uh, resin A, epoxy A and epoxy B, one for hardening, one for the resin. So I got these guys. Um, you need to measure when you're doing epoxy, this kind of epoxy, when you're doing A and B, um, you need to make sure you use the same amount of A as you use B. And so for me, I have my handy dandy silicone measuring cup. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 milliliters. I use this to measure and put both A and B in here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it because I don't have to pour a into B and stuff, and it just makes it easier. But if you don't have one of these, if you don't have a silicone um, cup, then just get some regular disposable cups and mark um, mark them. So you mark them to know that you're using the same amount of resin. So I would mark this one and put A in here and put that much, put this line, put that much A. So I'd fill it up and put it up to the mark. And then I put B in this cup and fill it up to the mark and then put A and B and and do all that. And I did that at the very beginning. And then I got the other cups and it's been a lifesaver, but, but you can seriously just use disposable cups. It's really up to you. I just wanted to show you guys, I'm not doing that today. I want to use these cups for another time. And then you need your sticks. And then I'm actually using an acrylic paint, glossy, gloss. I like the glossy. I'm using acrylic paint to dye the resin. Um, this, I found out if it's too cold, it doesn't mix well with the resin. I'm pretty sure that's like a duh, but I mix it and it was just kind of um, like really speckly in this color. And so you need to make sure this is not too cold when you're mixing with your resin. And then I got my foil and beads uh, sent me this foil and I'm excited to, to, to show you this technique um, for um, these pendants. And then I got my molds. I got my round mold, my oval mold, and my teardrop mold. And you can see I've already been using them because I'm super excited. We're going to put these to the side real quick. Before we do anything with our pendants, we're going to make our resin. Okay. We're going to make our resin and I am going to put my A in there. I'm actually going to make a lot because I'm going to use it for earrings today as well. I'm going to make earrings, uh, not for the video, but for myself. <laughs> so I'm going to be making a lot. So you don't need this much. If you're doing these pendants, you don't need this much resin. And so I'm actually going to be doing, um, 30, of each. The A is really thick and goopy and so I kind of wait a second to see if it spreads out um, to the line because you can um, over measure. You can, you can put too much in there because uh, A kind of needs to settle down in there. So I got 30, about 30 milliliters. I'm going to get my B and I'm going to make it so it equals 60, right? 30 and 30 because they need to be equal parts. B is so runny that it, it goes in quickly and doesn't need to have time to, to flatten out. So now, I will not bore you, but now I am going to be stirring this very slowly. You, if you stir it too quick, you'll make lots of bubbles. I'm going to be stirring this very slowly for the next minute to three minutes. Mainly three minutes. You need to stir it that long so that the A and B mix together. Okay, so now I am going to put my my um, acrylic paint in here and I'm going to mix it up. I'm gonna put in quite a bit. 
I've done where they do, oh, you just need a little bit, you just need a little bit. And then it wasn't as black as I wanted. And so I'm finding I need to put a lot of acrylic paint in here. And so I'm just going to mix again slowly. The acrylic paint actually does a really good job taking out the bubbles. Um, but we are going to, after we mix the acrylic paint, we are going to put it aside so the bubbles can come to the surface. And they're, I, no matter how many times, no matter how slow I am, or if I put heat on it or whatever, I still get really microscopic bubbles. So if you're watching this, you're like, hey, I know what to do to get rid of microscopic bubbles. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I tend to, to check out my color if I like it, I tend to kind of bring it up and then put it down and see if there's, I still see lots of kind of chunkiness of the paint not mixing in. And so I want to make sure that my paint um, is really well mixed in. So the reason um, I wanted uh, you to make the resin first and then put the color in first and put aside so that um, I'm trying to get all the bubbles to come to the surface. So time does that. The bubbles slowly come to the surface. And so when I'm doing this technique, I put my resin aside right here. I'm just gonna put my resin to the side. And then I am going to show you um, how to put the foil on. And I usually take my gloves off for this part because I haven't, I'm not touching resin for this part. So I take my gloves off. Um, because it's just, the reason I take my gloves off is just easier to, um, put the foil on. And so I have a couple foil colors I'm, that I got from NBs. I'm only using two today. So I got my really like bright purple and then I got my gold and, um, I'm super excited. So what you do is you, you take a little bit, it just, it's really chunky. It's really fine. And you're going to put it, I'm going to do my circle one with my gold. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put probably a couple down, right? I'm gonna put a couple down. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna smear it. I'm gonna try it and I'm even like push it down really hard. And it looks like it's stuck on the mold, but it's actually going to hook to the resin and come off when you unmold it. And it's a beautiful effect. I love this effect. I actually was looking for different ways to do resin. And I saw this for like, I don't know, like a um, a coaster or I don't know what, it looked like a cigarette, like, um, but I don't know, whatever, to put out your cigarette. And it was so beautiful. I was like, I have to try that for a pendant. And I've been doing it ever since. And I really love this effect. And so you can put in very little. I'm gonna do a lot for this one and then I'll show you very little for the other one. But look how pretty that is. And you can put it on the sides because it'll come on the sides on the resin as well. It'll come on the side of the of the pendant. So I like putting it on the edges and just smearing it. Smearing it. That sounds really bad. I like squishing it along the edge. And it's just, oh, it's such a pretty effect. I can't, I can't get enough of doing this. I've done it um, a lot for jewelry making lately. And people have been going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with this technique. So there's that, right? I'm gonna put that aside. And we're still letting the bubbles come up. It's nice to kind of let your resin sit, get the bubble to come up. Now I'm gonna do one with just very little, like like just maybe just a very little bit, um, maybe like one or two. And they're pretty big flakes. And I'm just gonna squish those in. And it can be as simple as that. It can be simple of just putting two on there and it comes out really, really pretty. Like I just put two pieces of gold on here. I put a lot on here. Do you see the difference? And then when we um, unmold it in 24 hours, you will see um, just the different styles. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take the, this. So now we, we've, we've, I've done as much as I want to inside. I kind of did a little bit more purple than I wanted. I'm gonna put my caps back on and then I'm gonna put my gloves back on. Okay, so now I have a little bit of bubbles. So what I like to do is I like to lighter. I like to pop them right here to try to get all the bubbles I can out. And now I'm going to slowly, I have learned you need to do this slowly. You need it because you can overfill it or whatever. It needs to be done really, really slowly. I learned a valuable lesson is when you're letting them dry, when you're letting them set for 24 hours, make sure it's a flat top because I had, I guess my paper that I left it on, um, kind of brought it and tilted it and it, and it made, it made it really, um, not even and it wasn't pretty. And so make sure when you're letting them set for 24 hours that you put them on a very flat surface. So now I'm just using my, um, lighter. Now I'm just using my lighter to take away the bubbles. 
And if you see bubbles come up within the next like 10, 15 minutes, if, you, if you're watching it or you're looking at it, then use your lighter to, to get rid of the bubbles. Yes. And that's really how easy it is. And then you just wait to see the results. <laughs> Okay, so let us uh, take the resin out of the mold. I'm excited to see it. You never know until it gets out of the mold. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is pretty. But it's really pretty having the foil, even having on the sides. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take the next one out of the mold. I don't know why you're gonna wanna do it, but I wanna do it. Oh my goodness, that is really pretty. I love how it gets on the sides. And then, how, oh, look at that piece. So that one we did most of the pendant. This one um, I did where it was just a couple pieces of foil. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Now, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but you're gonna wanna take um, some sandpaper, really fine, fine sandpaper, and you're gonna wanna sand it. Get it wet, get the sandpaper wet. And then you're gonna sand it off. And oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that really pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love making resin pieces. I'm pretty addicted to it. Okay, what do you think? Because I am obsessed with these pendants. I love it. I love all the different kinds. I love the purple. I love the splotchy one. I think that's actually my favorite. What is your favorite? Do you like like the lots of foil? Do you like the purple foil? Do you like the splotch? What is your favorite? Comment below. I want to hear your thoughts. Comment, share, like. Make sure you tell me what you think. Don't be mean. Be nice. You know I like nice instead of mean. If it's a nice, you know, critique me like does can you do this or slow down or whatever i love those too because i want to i want to improve but it's mean then you know then it's better not to say anything at all anyway oh my goodness i love it make sure you check out my facebook interest and pinterest Facebook, interest, and Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Make sure you check them out because I totally share my um, creations during the week. Also, thank you, N Beads, for sponsoring this with some free product. Oh my gosh, I love the free product and I love all the resin. Go ahead and check them out. I'll put the website in the description below as well as a coupon for over $40 worth of product. You get a coupon. Ooh, I like coupons. I like saving money. I don't know about you, but I love it. And so go ahead and check them out. Before I leave, you know I love praying for my viewers. You know I love praying for you. Yes, I'm totally looking at my pendant. Sorry, I'm totally obsessed with my pendant. Um, before I go, I want to pray for you. And I felt like the Lord's like, he wants to restore your joy. Those that have lost your joy. You've been through something. Um, some stuff has happened to you. Or maybe you're just feeling really heavy. God wants to restore your joy. So God, I thank you that you can restore anything. God, that you are a restorer of relationships. You're a restorer of our health. You're a restorer even of our joy. And so Lord, I pray for my viewers that need their joy restored. God, I pray that you would lift off anything that, that is on them. Lord, I pray that you would heal anything that, that is hurting them. And Lord, restore their joy to the fullness. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!